What's up, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Ranji.com's Ranji Health Transformer. So, Founders are GSTF2 for short. It's the new show, and today we are doing day number 15 of our countdown to Christmas 2020. And yeah, uh, basically, where we're looking at newer stuff. I'm full, I say, lunch. And, and, and today we're going to take a look at this guy. It's a big one. So, let's span up. This guy's big. So, this is, of course, Transformers Studio Series number 56. Leader class shockwave from Transformers Dark of the Moon. Yeah, very cool. I, I have um, other versions of this guy, earlier versions, original versions, um, but this is, I mean, like from 2011. But yeah, I mean, this guy just looks so nice. You can see it, see in there. I, you know, to be honest, I was afraid of doing looking at this guy because um, it's leader class, it's studio series, probably hard to transform, but. To my surprise, there's the um, side of the box on one side, and on the other side, there he is. To my surprise, he's only 17 steps. So, you know, I mean, if, you look, if you've seen my Transformers Studio Series number 13, Megatron, I think that's Revenge of the Fallen Megatron, which transforms to a tank. Uh, yeah, I, I had a hard time with that one, and I, I just don't like Studio Series in general for that, because of that, the complexity of transformation sometimes. But this one's 17 steps, so what could go wrong? That being said, um, let's get right to opening it. Uh, big screen inspired force backdrop is Battle of Chicago. Power Troopers descend on Shockwave to stop his assault on Chicago. Okay, let's open him up. In our trusty cutter, 20 year old cutter. And let's put him out of the box. And there he is. Nice. I'm gonna pull out the backdrop as usual. And of course, the instructions are there somewhere. Um, let me try to get this piece of paper that fell to the floor. There's the instruction. We don't need those. Um, okay, so there he is. And here is the backdrop. There is Shockwave's backdrop. It's very big, of course. And then he basically goes in there. And then now we're going to take him out from his stasis pod. He has one. Two, three, four, five, and six. And then, of course, so there's that little um, guy thingy with a uh, what you call it, parachute. Let's take him out of the box. Oh, he's going very nice. And he actually, got, I didn't realize they were that small. So there's Frenzy and what's his name? Um, <sighs> Brains? They're so small! But wait, wait, so basically it's been scaled down. I mean, that's really cool. So I'm not going to take those out because I might just lose them. I don't want to lose them. No. That being said, let's get... Oh, let's post Shockwave right there. Whoa, where was this supposed to go? Oh, okay. Oh, this is a rubbery piece right here. It's been colored. And there he is, looking very nice, very strong, very nice, very metallic, I like that, uh, about this thing. And now let's get right to transformation. Wait, oh, actually, let's, let's take a photo of him here first. All right, um, let's get right to transformation. Uh, yeah, so 17 steps. This should be easy. This is the front of the thingy. I think so. It just folds up like, or folds down like so. And then this thing, I don't know where it goes. Okay, anyways, basically just get that out of the way. Kind of extend it and then drop it down. And there it is. He's actually got tap treads right there. I don't know where these go. Uh, maybe... Okay, maybe there. Maybe there. I, I don't know yet where those go, but... Okay, so... And then, obviously, he is just going to do that, maybe. I, I To be honest, I don't know what I'm transforming into, and that's the problem. This thing can... Okay. I think... Okay. So this thing, so it's a very nice, still very G1, kind of captures G1 shockwaves. Um, 
I mean, spirit, but and yet very Bayversian. So, okay, I, 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 I'm stuck. I don't know what to do. Okay, his head apparently pops off from there somehow. Okay, I think this thing is connected somehow. I don't know. This whole thing, there you go, I pop that off. And then I think his arms are just connected there. I just pop them off it's from the shoulder, okay. And then, uh, okay, so it pulls all the way to the back. Okay, I don't know what happens here, but it looks like his legs actually spread out. There you go, nice, nice. At the thighs, at the hips. So it's gonna go like that somehow. There's a tab right there. Tab hole, I guess those go together like so. I don't, I don't know what this does. Okay, okay, so it stays there. Let's tab the other side. There you go. So we're almost there. We have a tank. Just need to form this back part. Uh, basically, oops, yeah, uh, just fold it in. Is it, yeah, it looks like it should pop in there somehow, somewhere, or not. Okay, oh, pop it in. So it should pop in, but these things should rotate like so. Rotate and then pop in. And then it'll snap and then yeah that's basically it now I just need to kind of um, position this these thrusters on the back this thing can twist out and then there's a um, there's a little peg right there in a little peg hole so I guess those go together so and, and that is that that's just so cool let us try to do that first so there's there's a few hinges there, like two hinges in a row. I don't know which one. It looks like that first one on the bottom. There you go. And then there you go. Okay, and that's pretty much it. And then um, I guess this thing should also tab into the shoulders somehow. I mean, so it is a pretty cool design. Once again, man, I am impressed. So you just have to line up the shoulders so that the tabs on the shoulders tab in. Okay. Okay, so there you go, tab in. And then that's pretty much it. Uh, now it's just a matter of positioning this thing I think that's that's it, and then this thing just I I don't know if an arm tab in somehow somewhere. Yeah, I see a tab, kind of just tab it in, and then pop this in. So yeah, indeed, it is a very easy transformation. Oh, there, so much better than Megatron. Maybe because this is a leader class figure, so there's it's a little easier to maneuver. A Megatron is a Voyager class figure, and just really more complicated. But man. There is his tank mode. Looks so nice, so neat. Uh oh, my boys are having a little bit of a thing outside. I don't know if you can hear Nanocitron going at it. But um, yeah, there is the tank mode. Um, and then from the other side, that's what he looks like. It looks very nice. There he is from the front. And there he is from the back. Very nice. You, you guys, uh, I'll just take a little quick break here. I still don't know what this is for. I guess, I guess it just stays there, down there somehow. Okay. Uh, and somehow this is for, yeah, there you go. Okay. Uh, not bad. Oh man, it just looks really nice. Okay, I'll just take a quick break here and I'll attend to the voice.
And we're back. Sorry about that. Uh, little guy, uh, bigger guy, turned off the TV that the guy still wanted to watch. Um, and now let's get right to transformation back to robot mode. Should be very easy. I mean, I'm, I'm just really surprised how easy this guy is to transform. I was so afraid that this was going to be another problem. Like, again, Studio Series number 13 Megatron was, but he's not. I'm just going to pop this off just because. Um, and on tab, on tab, on tab. Oof, on tab, and then on tab, on tab, on tab, oh boy, on tab. Okay, so fold out. So that's going to be his face right there. This whole thing should fold, oh, it, it should untab from there. There you go. And then the whole thing should just fold up. Fold out the arms first, like so, and then the arm should all should plug in here somehow. Oh, okay. So these there's peg, uh, tab holes there actually. So you want to do that. All right. Oh, nice. And then this one. This one can fold out. This whole thing just will just rest in there. Oh, there he is already. And then these will just fold up and down. And then fold up. I don't still don't know what this is for, but it's there. And again, fold up. Oh, it's there already. Fold out. And I okay, anyway, there's that. Fold, maybe just extra support or something? No? Yeah, just as an extra toe thingy, a heel, I mean. So that's that's it. Man, that was so easy. I like it. I like easy. I mean, for playability, but obviously if I want to challenge, I mean, it, it could be hard. Just don't, you know, if it's too many tabs that need panels that need to line up and it's difficult, but that being said, that is... Oh, oh, I can't make him stand. Does he even have... He does have ankle. Oh, his... You have to tuck in his um, hips very well. Wow, that's... Okay, that part is not very easy to do. There you go. Oh, wow. Why did it snap? And I think that's it. That should be a little easier. So I think the use of these is just really as a additional heel for more balance. Like, there it is. Oh wow. Oh so so nice. Oh just so nice. Man. Man. Good. Very good design. Oh wow he's front heavy because of the blaster. But there he is. Oh Transformers Studio Series number 56 leader class. Does it say Decepticon Shockwave? Just Shockwave uh, from Transformers Dark of the Moon, the 2011 live action movie. Very nice. That being said, that is about it for this episode of Rocky.com's Garage Sale Transformers Toy Finders, or GSTF2 for short. It's a new show. Once again, this has been day 15 of our countdown to Christmas 2020. Um, yeah, and basically we did an unboxing of this guy and we tried to answer the question, is it difficult to transform? And answer to that question is a no. We hope you liked this episode. If you did, don't forget to hit like, comment, and subscribe. Also, please follow us on our social media channels. We're on Patreon, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Last but not least, please share this video with your friends, your family, your lovers, and everybody you know, including your enemies, because they might start to like you again, as Alphonse Prime would always say. And until next time, Decepticons retreat!